Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in this video, we'll explore how to send email using Spring Boot applications. So nowadays, most of the applications, they are using this email notification. So if you want to use any kind of applications, they will ask first registration. So at the time of registration, they will send one email notification saying that your registration is successful. Not only the registration, if you want to reset password with this application also, they will send the OTP to email. Then again, you need to use the OTP to reset your password in the application. So this email feature is most commonly used all the applications. Without further delay, let's get started. So here I'm creating the Spring Boot project from Spring Initializer. So here I'm using Spring Boot version 3.3.2 and the group name is com.java codex artifact name I'm using Spring Boot Java Mail Service. Okay, so this is my service. I will keep like simple Spring Boot Mail. Okay, so this is my artifact name so coming to that package name i'm using comda java codex so now first we need to add the dependencies so one is web and the second one is lumber and third one we are going to use mail dependency that is java mail sender okay so these are the three dependencies i'm adding into this application now we'll generate the project and import this project into intellij id so I have imported project into IntelliJ ID. If you see my palm.xml file, I'm using Spring Boot starter mail and web. So here I'm not using any kind of uh, UI dependencies. So in the first example, we'll see the simple email how to send. After that, we'll try with some email templates. Okay. So for that one, we need some package structure. Just quickly, we'll create the package structure. So only we need one. Uh, service as well as controller so there is uh, no data jp nothing is required just you can create one service and one controller class and we'll try to send the email and there are some email properties are required we need to add into application that properties okay so first we'll add those properties so here i'm specifying port number so i'm using port number 9898 okay so now we'll define the email related properties here so here are the email properties i have defined if you see here port number 9898 and uh, http host for gmail is smtp.gmail.com and port number 587 and here is my gmail id and this is the password so here we i will show you how to create this password okay so another two properties need to use first authentication security purpose okay so if you see here is this is my password right so we need to generate this password before using this application okay so how to create this password so for that one what we need to do so we need to go to this url my start gmail.com slash app password okay this password we'll see now so this is the url we need to use my account dot google.com slash app passwords so before using this link you need to log in your gmail account okay so i will open this one quickly so i have opened that when you are try to access this url so it will ask to sign in okay so you need to confirm your sign in once you are confirmed this one then here there is a app name you can give some name of this app then i can create it it will generate one password so that is the password you need to keep in your properties file okay i will share you this uh, link in the description okay so i'm added this smtp properties now i will create one controller and one service class quickly so here is my service class if you see this service class i'm using java mail sender so here i'm using send simple email so here i'm passing arguments like two email address subject as well as a test i'm using this simple 
mail message class with this class i am setting these properties then using the mail sender i am sending the email okay so this is the simple one i am using i am not using any email templates here in the next we'll see the email templates also how to use the theme leaves with email templates okay so let me create the controller and try to call this method from the controller so here is my controller class i'm creating the object for email service using annotation auto wire so it will use the field dependency injection then i'm using one api that is for send email so here i need to pass this request params from the postman okay then i will call send simple email okay uh, so we we'll keep some locks also so here i'm calling send email so if you want you can add some locks also in the controller as well as the service also okay so so that's it to send a simple email so i'm not using any email related templates here okay so let me start this application quickly So here I'm using only one dependency that is starter mail dependency in the pounded XML file. So if you see this application is running 9898. Okay, we'll test this application from the postman. So if you see here is my postman, I'm using port number 9898, send email is the API, and I'm passing request arguments like to subject and text. So here is my I'm using sender as well as a receiver both are the same email and subject as a testing okay and you can click on the send so now application is running we'll try to hit this api now it is processed completed now we see the response response is email sent successfully okay now we'll check this email he received or not you can come to my mailbox and you can just refresh this now you can see email is received okay so if you are open this one see this is the subject and this is the text what we are giving from the postman this is the text this is the subject okay so this is normal email we are not using any kind of uh, templates for this template formation like to show this is some styling right so now we'll try to add one email templates for this okay using theme leaves so for that one what we need to do here is and uh, we need to stop this service and come to pound.xml file the pound.xml file will quickly add theme leaves dependency so in the thumb so here we have the only starter mail as of now starter mail and web okay now we'll have theme leaf dependency into this application so here is the theme leaf dependency I'm updating project so it will download all the required dependencies now we'll add this new method instead of using send simple email we can use send html so now if you see i added one html file see this is the title of this email like email template and this is the subject and this is the message so i'm using h1 tag for subject and paragraph for message okay this is one uh, email template format i'm using in if you see this email services so in the email services i'm added one extra method now this is the send ht ml so here also same three arguments i'm using to subject as well as the text okay so here i'm using now my message previously i was using simple mail message and now it is a my message so with this class i'm setting all these three properties again okay so then template engine will taking care of generating the template format so if you see this template engine so this is coming from theme leaves okay so template engine is taking the responsibility to generate the email template format okay so uh, same java mail sender right so this is the mail sender sending the email okay uh, now we'll restart this application So, but functionality is same but here we are adding extra template format now we'll see the difference between previous email template and this email template now application is started 
and go to the postman again we are using same api with same arguments okay and just you can click on the send uh, still request is processing now request completed now you see email sent successfully now if you see this email format this is the old one see now this is the latest one okay so if you observe this one we received the same previous format only we missed to call that method from the controller we quickly change this one so because it is pointing to old method only send html email this one we need to use from the controller okay quickly restart this application once so application is started go to the postman and try to test this one one more time so request process is completed now you can go to that gmail so now if you see this one now if you see this is the subject now it is coming h1 tag and this is the text okay if you observe uh, in our template format so this is our template format we are using subject as h1 tag okay so if you see the previous email but previous email we don't have this one in the h1 okay so not only this one we can add any kind of template format customized template format you can use this theme list you can add the theme list in the form.xml file and you can generate the custom template format using this html file you need to keep this html file under templates okay so i hope this video is helpful for you please like share and subscribe my channel for more content